Greetings. Welcome to the Leeward Islands District Devotional for today. I am Charlie Philip of the St. Kitts Circuit. Today, we continue with the theme, When God is for us, and I have chosen for today, Salvation is Promised as my sub-theme. A gospel reading comes to us from Romans chapter 8, reading verses 1 and 2, 31 to 39. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not withhold his own son, but gave him up for all of us, will he not with him also give us everything else? Who will bring us, who will bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies, who is to condemn, it is Christ, Jesus, who died, yes, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us, who will separate us from the love of Christ. Will hardship or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for your sake, we are being killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, or anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. The word of the Lord. Shall we pray? Loving Father and our God, as we assemble on this glorious morning to celebrate you, O God, we have paused in the busyness and the noise of the celebration where all nature has come forth in glowing colors, O oh God, clapping their hands. We've paused for a few moments, O oh God, to spend with you. We give you thanks, Lord, for your Almighty. And it is you, O oh God, who allowed us to be able to assemble in this way to listen to your word. Father, even as we give you thanks, we pray, O oh God, for attentive ears that even as your word go forth, Father, it would be enriching and nourishing to our souls. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. When we graduated high school, we started looking up classmates to see how they were doing, whether they were working or not, whether they had good jobs, 
or just lie in somewhere. And I ran into one of my classmates and asked what she was doing. And to my surprise, she was working at one of the most prestigious firms in the country as an accounts clerk. And I thought, accounts clerk? What did you do? What subjects did you do? What did you pass? And her answer blew me away. She said, well, I pass homic. And I thought, you pass homic and you're doing, you're an accounts clerk? How is that possible? She said, well, they give me the job and I do it. And when I looked at the whole situation, I realized that my classmate, even though she was not, in my mind, qualified for that job. It was because of favor. She got favor because her father knew the chairman of the company and they were good friends. It is just as it is in all walks of life. Favor is issued to folks for nothing, almost nothing. Because if someone loves you, they would favor you. We are favored by Almighty God. And so we can always say like the psalmist, I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works that I know very well. You see, we have a special place in this world that God has created. Even though we may not want it, even though we may not be driven to accept it, God favored us. And in favoring us, he sent his one and only son to bring us salvation. He sent his one and only son to be kicked and spat upon, to be mistreated just for you and I, Brothers and sisters, as we go through today, I want us to realize that it is because of God's favor why we are able to access salvation. Salvation has been guaranteed for us by the blood of Jesus Christ. And so therefore, I implore us all to accept Jesus and allow him to favor us. Amen. Let us pray. Loving Father and our God, we give you thanks, O God, for today. And we pray even now as we part and we go back to the business of today that we'll take the Lord with us. We pray that our lives would be such that Others may see us and wish to emulate us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now, may the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and always. Amen.